Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. Today's November 14th, 2018. And I got woken up at 3.23 this morning um, with this word from God. I actually went to bed last night. I didn't get to bed till 1 o'clock. And I got woken up at this time. And when I went to bed last night, I felt like God was trying to speak to me a little bit. But I, you know, I always try to wait a little bit to make sure it's not my own thoughts or feelings. And I, I, I went to sleep and I got woken up with this and I basically have been up since. So if I look a little sleepy, it's because I haven't slept very much. And when you start getting downloads from God about certain things going on, it's very hard to go back to sleep. Just wait till you hear what I have to say. As a matter of fact, parental supervision discretion is advised because the content of this video is going to be very heavy. Okay, and I'm actually going to send this out to my brother Steve as soon as I get done doing this. I wanted to have the video and everything so I could send it to him. Because this is all about the Nephilim and God is talking about it and we better get a heads up with what's going down on planet Earth. Alright, let me just start with the prophetic word that I got from the Father. Keep in mind Genesis 6, 1 through 4. Alright, because this is all about that. Scripture. Lois, I have a vital word for my people. You have been told many things over the years that have not been from my heart. Some sound very loving and very kind, and some sound harsh and very abrupt. Your emotions can play a big role in what you feel are my thoughts, if you lack experience or if you do not know my word of truth. I love you with an everlasting love and would never jeopardize your lives in any way. There is an enemy who is rising up to come after you and take you away from me. He is manifesting himself in many ways that you would not even think possible. He has come as an angel of light and has made you think it is I who is speaking when it is not. He is subtle and uses words that tickle your ears and makes you think that it is he and, not, and, and, and that it is me and not him. When I say in my word that the day will be shortened, it is because such deception will be everywhere, and if it were not possible, my people could be deceived. And if it were possible, those who truly love me will be led to truth, and those who are lovers of self rather than God will be deceived. Your hearts play a very important role in which side you are on. You must be humble enough to know that, it, that any one can be misled by evil. And he is very persuasive in his lies. The only way to escape his deception is to be humble before me and allow my spirit to lead you to all truth. Do not be so prideful that you cannot accept correction if needed. The Nephilim and the angels from heaven who were cast down are among you and they are taking over many. The time is at hand when you will see how man has given into the evil, evil one and has allowed him to manipulate him. You must seek me, my children, and walk close to me and see with discerning eyes who are my people and who are not. We are in serious times of deception and demonic activity is rising up. So too will be my spirit who will raise up my army and the battle will rage until Yeshua returns. You will see things that you would never have thought possible. And have, I have given Lois two dreams to show you how the times will be in your world. Take heed and listen and stay together as my people with love, compassion, and forgiveness. I love you, your Father who art in heaven. I got that. I, 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 re I received two dreams. Um, let me, all right, the Lord told me to tell you the dreams first. I had a dream a day or so ago. And... It was absolutely disturbing, discouraging, uh, just disgusting it was. And this was the dream. I was in the dream, and I was myself in the dream, and I was in a place. And as I looked around the place, there were all kinds of people, and they almost looked like they were zombied out. They weren't acting normal. They were just messed up. And as I was walking... About four men walked through one of the doors and noticed me. And I knew that they were looking to basically rape me. I knew it. And what I needed to do in the dream was I needed to 
find somebody. So I wasn't like alone in this. So I kind of started walking the other way and they started walking after me and I kind of went and I tried to find somebody that I had talked to earlier who, who was drunk. They were, they were totally drunk, but they were Christian, but they were drunk and they weren't basically doing too good. So I was looking for the person and I finally saw them walking and I walked up to them. I kind of latched my arm into their arms and I started walking with them and then the men kind of walked the other way and I saw that I was in a place that was very unsafe. There was like nothing that was right there, nothing. Then I saw a woman walk in. She was alone with a, with a little boy. And she walked in and I told her, do not come here to this place. This is not safe for anybody. You need to leave now. And as I said that, the men grabbed her, pulled her away, and then there were a bunch of men sitting on the side and they grabbed the little boy. And they took the little boy over and they proceeded to sexually abuse him. And that's as deep as I'll go. The dream was way more explicit than I'm going to actually even put out. But that's what they began to do with this little boy. And I thought to myself in this dream, what is going on? What is wrong with these people? And I knew they were reprobate and I knew they were demonic. And they just were in their little fog of zombiness. And that was my dream and I woke up from it. And it was so disgusting to me and disturbing to me and I knew that God was showing me something. Last night um, I had this dream and in the dream I was a police officer and I was with other police officers and we were in the middle of solving um, a murder or a mystery or something it was. I don't quite remember exactly what that was but as we were trying to search the truth out those that were involved, other policemen, so-called policemen, were trying to kill us because they wanted to silence our mouths. They didn't want us speaking the truth. But they were acting, they were, they were acting like they were other police officers when in fact they were just basically disguised as police officers and they were not working for righteousness, they were working for evil. And that was the whole dream. We were trying to get away from them because they were trying to kill us because they wanted to silence us from speaking the truth. That's the days we're in, folks. We are in times that are gonna get really, 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 really bad. All right? Now, I wanna to refer to Enoch. Enoch was the great-grandfather of Noah, all right? He was able to talk with the spirits, uh, with the angels, with the demonic entities, with the Nephilim, he talked with them back in the day. And um, there's a book of Enoch that's out there. It was never put into the Bible, and I believe because um, it was so disturbing what he had to say that they didn't really want to include it. But in the book of Jude 1, 14 through 15, all right, Jude references to Enoch and the book of Enoch. Genesis, when I threw the scripture out of Genesis 6 in the beginning, okay, that talks about the angels coming down, having sex with the women, and creating these beings. Now, I'm going to read you something from the book of Enoch, all right? 3.30 in the morning, I'm reading the book of Enoch, okay, because I can't go to sleep after God is downloading this to me. I see, I start to see it all in my mind, what's happening on the earth with all these entities, these spirits. Remember I said the entities were in the heavenlies? Well, that's the, ang the angels that were hurled out of heaven. That's not the Nephilim, the giants, the spirits of the giants before the flood. After the flood came, the Nephilim, okay, the spirits of the giants were told they could not go in the heavenlies, that they, they were here on the earth. Tell me something. What do you think these spirits are doing on the earth? They don't have bodies anymore to do what they want to do. So what do you think they're trying to do? They're trying to take over mankind once again, like they were doing back in the days of Noah. And why is it happening? It's happening because mankind is straying away so far from God and the truth, the biblical truths, that we are opening up to these entities. And just because you're a Christian, do not think that these entities can't come upon you because they'll come into some vulnerable part of your life, some sin that you're in, some weak point that you are in, and they will be there to harass you. 
Now let me just read what it says in the book of Enoch. This is chapter 15. You really should read it because it's absolutely unbelievable what he says and that he actually talks about what the Bible talks about in Genesis. And he goes into detail about it because he was alive back then when all this was going down and he witnessed it all and he wrote it all down, what he saw. And he actually spoke about what was going to happen with the flood, all right? But this is the part about the giants. Now the giants, who are produced, produced from the spirits and flesh, shall be called evil spirits upon the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. This is where they dwell. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies. In other words, that when they died, all right? Because they are born from men, and from the holy watchers in their beginning and primal origin. In other words, in the beginning they were holy. They shall be evil spirits on the earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling, in the heavenlies. But as for the spirits of the earth, which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. He says it twice. And the spirits of the giants, now listen to this, this is what they do. This is where we got to get a heads up. This is where Steve Quayle has been talking about the giants for years and years and years. And he's been called crazy and everything in the book. But meanwhile, everything that that man is telling us is absolutely biblically based. And we have to understand the times we are in. We are just like in the days of Noah. Mankind is straying away from the Father. And these entities are about seeking whom they may take over. And they are taking over. They're taking over people in high places. They're looking to control the world. They know their days are numbered. They know when Jesus comes back, they're going to be stopped from doing what they're doing. So what are they doing? They're looking to take over whoever they can. And the reprobate minds that are out there are going to get raised up and become stronger and stronger as these entities take over. That's why you better not stay lukewarm, because you are opening yourself up to major attack. We need to walk in the power and the fire of the Holy Spirit. We need to use the name of Jesus against the evil one. We need to wake up and become the army of the Almighty God in love, compassion, and forgiveness towards one another. The devil has stepped in and pulled us away from loving each other and pinned us against each other with all different doctrines. The main basic thing we have to stick to is we love Jesus. He's our Savior and the Lord of our lives. And we have to get back into that. The simple message of the gospel of Jesus instead of pinning ourselves against each other. Now listen to what these spirits do. The spirits of the giants, they afflict, they oppress, they destroy they attack, they do battle, and work destruction on the earth. They cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men, that would be us, and against the women, that would be us, because they have proceeded from them. In other words, because they came from us, they're after us to embody our beings so that they can act out what they are again. You see, they're just spirit. A spirit can't do anything in this world unless it has a body. That's why Jesus had to come into the earth as a man. He had to have a body. He had to be born of a woman. All right? These entities are now floating everywhere, and they don't have a body to perform their filthy disgustingness. That's what we're dealing with. That's why we're going to be building safe havens. Because we're going to be getting away from the zones where these zombie demonic entities are going to be dwelling, which will be the cities. That's where they all tend to go, to the cities. And we're going to be leaving those places and going to safe havens. The weather conditions are going to get absolutely unbelievable. We're going to be dealing with all kinds of supernatural Biblical portion weather conditions, they're already happening. So we will be building these safe havens to go to. Right now, I'm not talking about the safe havens. I'm talking about these Nephilims. 
and these entities. This is now a second download I've gotten from God about this that blew me out of my bed, literally. And I, I can't not talk about it. It's not a subject I even want to talk about because it's like a sci-fi thing almost, you know? And, and, and to put this out there is absolutely mind-boggling because you think to yourself, come on, are you serious? Yeah, read your Bible. Read Genesis 6. Read it, read it, read it. About the men of renown. They came, they were born of women. They are angel, human. And in God's sight, they're abominations. And they can never go to heaven because of it. Never, ever, ever. And they are here on the earth. Those angels that had sex with the women, they got bound up. The, the, the book of Enoch actually names them and talks about them. So it's a very interesting read, even if you don't believe it. But there is stuff in there that just backs the Bible 100%. The things that he says. He says nothing off scripture, nothing. And we know that Enoch is talked about in the Bible. We know that he existed. So we need to get a heads up on what is going down on planet Earth. I can't say it enough. I, I, I never thought that part of my purpose would be to talk about this stuff. But this is what I'm called to do. I am called to get out there and start telling the body of Christ what we're dealing with, just like Brother Steve is. I am one that is called to talk about this stuff and make you understand what we are dealing with. What do we do about them? We rebuke them in Jesus' name. Any one of these entities that is on a human being that loves the Lord, you command it to leave in the name of Jesus and it has to go. Send it to the dry places and tell it to stay there and let the Lord Jesus deal with them. Just command them. They have to leave unless the person wants them there. You can't tell any spirit to go if the person wants it there. But if you want to be set free, you need to use the name of Jesus because it was given to us and every knee bows to his name. The demons don't bow to me. They bow to Jesus. That's why we need to be humble before the Father and not be out there in our own pride because that's what made Satan fall down. Lucifer fell because of his pride. We cannot be walking in pride. We have to be totally humble before the Father and recognize we are human and we can fall short at any moment in time and not be pointing the fingers. We have to stand together. This is the days just like it was with Noah. And these entities are about. And another thing, the reason why God told Brother Steve Quayle when cannibalism is being talked about, that's the tribulation period. The reason for that is because these entities, when they were on the earth and they were alive, started to eat mankind and they started to eat themselves. They literally began to destroy themselves. They ran out of food. They were eating animals. They were doing sick things with animals, too. There was a lot of sick things going on, just like's happening today in the world. And cannibalism was very rampant out during the day. Don't you think it's awful weird that all of a sudden now cannibalism's coming about? They're taking fetuses of babies and putting it in foods? They have a show on TV about it like, this is okay, folks? Because the demons, the entities, are taking over the evil spirits, and they were cannibals. So wouldn't you think it normal that they were trying to get into cannibalism and just do the things that they did back then? Yeah, they're doing the exact things that they did back then, and they've been doing it all along. But they weren't able to hit us as strong when we were walking with the Father, back when we went to church on Sundays, when a handshake meant something and honesty was... Your word, not all the garbage and fake news and deception that's out there that you don't know who to believe anymore. When, when decency was reigning on the earth, that's going out the window. It's all going out the window. And that's why they're coming upon man. And that's why men's minds are becoming reprobate. And we're accepting things that are absolute abominations to the Father. We are in serious, serious times, church. And we need to pray. We need to fast. We need to love one another. I can't say it enough. That's my quest, is for us to love one another. I am going to be getting out there somehow, some way. God's going to open up the doors to me so that more people can hear 
what the Spirit is saying to the church. Because we need to hear the truth. Because it's the truth that sets you free. And you will stay bound up by the enemy if you don't hear the truth. So I am Lois Vogel Sharp, and I rebuke all these demonic evil spirits in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I command them to loose their hold on God's people in Jesus' name. And I'll be back when he sends me back again. Have a blessed day.